happens and to the news, and we know that a lot happens, but when I watch the film and when we're working on it, I think a really, I always lose sight of the fact that it was shot in a single day. You know, because there's so much that happens. There's so much, I mean, just the physical uh, diversity in this country and the beauty of uh, the United States is in, just mind-blowing. Is this a film you'd want to screen at the White House for the president? I mean, I think it, the, that would be an interesting experiment. You know, I, I think I would love everyone to see it. I mean, Donald Trump is uh, president. Donald Trump is he's in the movie. Uh, so yeah, it'd be it'd be I think um, be great if he watched it. I mean, these are the people that he's representing, right. right? You know, so I think that you know watching it would probably hold up um, the camera and uh, tell the story who who we are. What do you hope the movie does? You know, I, I think I hope it 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 continues a conversation that's mm -hmm. being had. As you can see, everybody in the film, it's not the first time they've thought or talked about these things. I don't think, you know, whether it's the opiate crisis or equality or diversity, uh, whether it's Trump or ideas of America and the American dream, um, these are things that people are talking about. And for me, I, I really wanted it to be a time capsule that, you know, if you, if you buried it and dug it up 100 years from now, you go, but you, you know exactly where uh, what time it was and um, what was happening in the world. What's the biggest thing you learned? Well, uh, that a lot happens uh, in a day. You know, we're all so consumed with our our lives, you know, our busy lives and, you know, we're glued to our phones sure, and other things that we didn't know we would capture that we did and we were blown away by. Um, but you see the beauty of this country, you see the contradiction, you see the pain the hope, um, the hope, a lot of hope, and it's mm -hmm. incredible in, in a time where it's so easy probably for people to feel a bit hopeless, um, um, that there's so much uh, optimism. But an ugly side of America, too. Oh, they, yeah. You have the KKK in there. Yeah, we have the KKK. We have the the warts and all. I mean, I, I wanted to make an apolitical piece, and I really... That was a mandate um, that we all had, uh, all of the, the camera crews and the producers, to take a good look at ourselves. I, th I don't think it was important not to take a side. It's kind of hard not to, uh, I think impossible to be completely objective, but we, we really didn't want to take a side. We want to make films, especially documentary film, uh, and that's great because uh, there, there, there are so many stories worth exploring, and um, so it, it was, it was pretty down and dirty, run and gun. But uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I was super passionate about the idea, and, and I put together this really um, hardworking group of people, and we just went for it. So explain what it is. Is it slices of life just it's, throughout the country? It right? really is. And we, 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 we. On a single day, July 4th, we sent 92 crews all over the country, uh, had people in every single state, Puerto Rico and D.C., and we uh, turned the camera on ourselves, and we plotted and planned for weeks and weeks. Uh, we knew that we, there were certain things we wanted to capture, and then there were certain things that we hoped to capture. So let's talk Tribeca Film Festival. Yes, sir. What are you doing here? We're 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 we're, we're finishing a documentary. You know, yeah. festivals are great because they're really just deadlines for filmmakers. Mm -hmm. uh, in in some ways, obviously, it's a lot more than that. It's a celebration of, of cinema, culture, um, and a place to share what you're passionate about with people that are really passionate about filmmaking and and films in general. We made this crazy portrait of the United States and what I think is a really important time to take a look at ourselves. A day in the life of America. Yeah. One day, July 4th. Yeah. How did you do this? What was it, like almost 100 crews around yeah. the country? Yeah, yeah. First of all, who financed this? I did. I mean, wow. it wasn't, it wasn't the, 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 the craziest thing in the world to do because, you know, the great thing about the times that we're living in is cheaper and easier 
than ever before to you know just be a, a one more avenue to understand and continue to to you know uh hear the voices that are uh that he represents you said that um there's a lot of hope yeah are you hopeful for the country you know i'm a hopeful pessimist i guess <laughs> Is that the glass half full or half empty? I don't know, or pessimistic <laughs> optimist. Um, you know, I, I think ultimately we'll get there, but man, we, we're going to cause a lot of damage. It doesn't seem like we all, none of us really change until we have to. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it takes a significant amount of, of drama and trauma. We like to beat ourselves up quite a bit, I suppose. But it is a fascinating time. And the film explores that fascinating time. And, you know, we have the birth of children. We have uh, people sharing their last words. Uh, we have incredibly surprising stories. Uh, we go from some of the most violent neighborhoods in the country to some of the most affluent. You know, I, I, on the 4th, when the sun set, I was in a helicopter above Los Angeles filming the fireworks, and we had another camera crew that uh, was in New York flying around the Statue of Liberty and just f filming this, uh, this this massive crescendo that happens right. in the film when the, 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 the country celebrating. We had a lot of fun making it. It was really exciting, and usually documentaries, they're not often shot in a day. <laughs> or an no. hour, you know. So that that's that, that was kind of fun because usually, you know, you're you're shooting and shooting and shooting. Uh, we were buried in footage afterwards. Yeah, how much footage? How many hours of footage? I, mean, did I, you can, have? I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you. I mean, it's it, it, limitless. I thought it should have been a, America. What surprised me as well how controversial some of the stuff that's in the film is, and mm -hmm. it is, uh, you know, that's us. which is, you know, very uh, brave in and of itself. And so, so we filmed and, you know, uh, luckily enough, it, it, the, the, the baby it w was coming on the, the day that we shot, right? That was, that was the first big hurdle. Uh, and we're like, yes. And I was on the phone like an expectant father all day. <laughs> How are we doing? She dilated, you know, and uh, is it gonna happen before breathe, midnight? Breathe. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And 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 we kept checking in. It was like, oh my god, we're getting this amazing footage. She's in the bathtub, screaming in agony and uh, and joy. Uh, and she didn't have the baby until the tw until the uh, the fifth. Mm. So. Spoiler alert, but what we did is we roll the credits and then we show the baby uh -huh. being born. Uh, but what did they name the kid? I forgot. Jared. We, we also had 10,000 submissions from people all over the country wow. and the world. Because I had I'd originally asked for people to comment and tell us who they thought we were. Because I was like, you have to ask your neighbors right. too if you want to get an accurate, accurate portrait. But we ended up using only the footage that our camera crews shot, for the most part. There are a couple of news reel uh, shots. There's some news footage and crowdsourced footage, but for the most part, that's what we shot. Is A Day in the Life of the World next, or A Day in the Life of Another City? I mean, I'd love to do A Day in the Life of China, A Day in the Life of Russia, A Day in the Life of, you know, I think it's fascinating. Yeah, India, my God, that would be incredible. Was there a group of people or someone you really wanted for this that you didn't get? There, yeah, there was, it was actually it's quite a funny story. It was, it was we found this amazing uh, couple that agreed to let us film the birth of their child, and they were going to do an at-home natural birth.